Hey guys, package arrived in the mail today containing a digital temperature controller for our freezer to fridge conversion, which will be an entirely separate video, probably after this one, I'm not sure, but watch for it, and uh, this is really exciting. Um, converting the freezer over to a fridge for efficient off-grid solar living. And then another package arrived containing my bulkhead fittings for my uh, aquaponics lab. So this is a, uh, there's a strainer, and hold on, let me put down the camera. There's a strainer, so there's your bulkhead fitting here with your gasket. Goes on your uh, water tank that holds the plants, and then this drains down into the aquarium, and it fits a half inch tubing. And then this strainer goes on the inside and just presses in, and that'll stop your gravel from going into there. So this is going in the greenhouse, the aquaponics um, grow tank, and I'm not sure yet about the fish tank. Right now I have a fish tank in the greenhouse, but I think I'm going to put them all on a raised platform outside for uh, so it give me more room in the greenhouse for growing things instead. So we got some exciting things going on today, and I'll take you outside and show you what we've been up to. Oh, well, we got our old fr fridge freezer combo out of the tiny house and got our new um, freezer converted over into a refrigerator working inside the tiny house. That was a job. That's a heavy, heavy beast. So we have to clean this up and uh, get it up for sale. That's, that's for sale now. Over here today, I um, cut my hair and shaved my beard fully off the grid. Uh, using the power of the sun, I ran an extension cord over to this table and chair and sat right here and cut my hair. You see a little bit of it on the ground. Desperately needed to be done and fully off the grid with solar power. Directly off the power inverter, right off the battery bank. Over here, I'm uh, bringing over more solar panels and getting ready for our expansion, which we'll be doing I've got to build the second solar panel rack today, right next to this first one. Now, um, I'd prefer to put it over here, the second rack, but then we're going to be underneath this tree, with tree sap falling on the panels and sun shading them. So I think we're going to have to go on this side of the first rack, and that'll get us out from under the trees and get us full sunlight throughout the entire day. Uh, just got to be done. I don't want to get as close to, as, to the road as, uh, and block off so much of the driveway, but I guess we could always move our driveway over a couple feet, no big deal. It is what it is. But that gets our solar panels in the optimum position, close enough to the house so we don't have such a, so much loss in the wires, um, and out of the way of the road enough and the driveway enough, and not under the trees. I do not want to be cutting any more um, tree branches and stuff. I don't want to stop any of our shade or remove any of it. So the rack's going to have to go here. And when I get my energy back, uh, we cleaned up the yard a little bit today, um, quite a bit this morning, and then emptied the fridge and cleaned up the house and a lot of work. Plus I'm working on DIY tube. So uh, once I'm finished and get my energy back here, I'll start building this second frame right next to this one. And then I've got to haul the solar panels over from the electronics shop over to here and then all my harbor freight panels are going to go on that rack. Over here, um, it froze last night so we had the garden covered. I still got to put the plastic away. It's all over there. Plastic and tarps. We covered our garden last night to protect it from freezing and uh, our antique garden cart came in handy because we hauled over all of our plants from the uh, front of the road and in front of the house all of our little flowers and stuff we put underneath the overhang of the trailer and it kept them alive but that really looks good uh, a friend was over and he says wow that does look good with the plants on it as i had envisioned when we picked it up for five dollars it's a beautiful beautiful addition uh, to the yard and when it's painted it'll be even nicer i think so cute little thing and it's functional we used it to haul our plants. We still got to get them put out. We may just leave them here tonight um, because it might freeze again. So we'll see how that goes. Over here, um, check out 
the do-it-yourself world electronics on DIYTube.video I put together a mining rig uh, using an antique Dell computer and uh, put the, the graphic card over here, got the power supply over here and the hard drive over here I did this all step by step on video a full instructional video on how to make a mining rig out of used computer parts is on uh, the DIY uh, the do-it-yourself world electronics channel on DIYTube.video I'll put the link down below so you can check it out by the way since YouTube cut my pay for my electronics channel entirely and cut my partner privileges I fully moved over to DIYTube video with the electronics video so anybody interested go on over there and check it out how to build an alt altcoin miner step by step I'm going to have a full series the next one is going to be how to um, set up your your operating system how to fine tune your operating system, how to set up your software, how to set set up the different coins. It's all going to be there, a full video series, so check it out, guys. I've got corn soaking to sprout. I'm going to sprout the corn. This is various colored oranges and blacks and yellows and brown, different various colored corn. And then there's a purpley colored corn. So I've got, um, actually this was a mixture of different types. So I know they're going to crossbreed. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. But I had different cows with different colors. I don't know if they were all related or maybe slight differences. Got it from a farmer's market last fall and dried them out. This obviously was a completely separate thing. Even the cob was purple. So these are going to be planted separate so they don't cross pollinate. But anyway, those are soaking overnight. And then tomorrow I'll leave them out in a tray to sprout. And then we're going to plant them right in the soil. Got everything going here. Got my tools out. Got the post hole digger in. I measured where I'm going to put the solar panel uh, rack. So there's the there's where the post is going to go of the second solar panel rack. And it still gives me our driveway is still free and clear. Um, I'll still be able to drive the car in where I park it. And. Uh, our driveway will just be shifted over two feet to the left, which is perfectly fine. All going to be well and good. And we'll still be able to park two cars actually here side by side. Um, so that's fine. That's going to work out well. If we have more gas than that, then we're overloaded anyway. Make sure I get the right height above the ground here. And tamp that in nice. Have to add a little bit of soil. I need a normal shovel here for a minute. Scoop that back in. So the idea get my five foot height here off the ground on this post so it's equal with the other. Oh, a little bit more soil. I'm going to go ahead and get that set. Okay, I have that in and leveled uh, this way. Now I'm going to get a two by four in across here to hold them together and then I'm going to try to get that this way and impact the dirt in. That's going to be fun. As you can see, I've got a little bit of work to do to get that straight. I might put two 2x4s two across to, uh, to bring that in tight and then pack the dirt in. I don't have that neat tool I had before when I put this together originally. Well, there it is, all in the ground and leveled off and plumb. I used the 2x4s to hold it straight for me. Uh, so I got it pretty even, even as I can get it out here. And I used a garden hose and I put water in there as I worked. 
I pounded it down with a sledgehammer, the handle end of a sledgehammer until I get high enough. Then I used a metal end. And then I used uh, water and pounded it, alternating with water and pounding to get that pretty solid. That's rugged. That's not going anywhere. Now I'm going to build a frame just like that one and then get it on the hinge and then I'll bring over those solar panels from the electronics shop, bring them over here and hook it all up. Hopefully today, but I don't know. Time's running out. Okay, I got my middle framing pieces cut and the exterior 2x6's are 8 feet long so it's perfect. Uh, now I'm going to lay it down and assemble it just like that frame there. I gotta get the right spacing and then uh, I'm gonna put it together over here on a flat ground, somewhat flat surface. Do as good as I can and get it put together. Oh, a little bit twisted. Uh, I'm going to put all that together down here in the ground and then we'll size it up and see how it fits. Frame is done. Now I got to flip it over and hold it up in here, make sure it's going to fit between my frames. And then uh, I'll drill the holes and mount it. Then we start moving solar panels. Uh, it looks like a storm's rolling in. It's typical when I'm working on solar power that the uh, storms roll in. Just seems like the way it goes. I think there's a, what is it called, Murphy's Law or, I don't know, whatever. But anyway, there's a storm coming. All right, I got the holes uh, drilled for the hinge points. And then I pulled it up and set it in between the posts and it fit perfect. So we're all good there. But it's starting to rain, so now we have to scramble and put things away, unfortunately. And my bolt that I was gonna pull out of that rack put in here because it's longer is now permanent part of the wood it's not coming out of the 4x4 so I've got to go to town um, they're closed now I'm gonna to have to go to town and get a another bolt a longer bolt and then pry this one out this is gonna be fun I'm gonna pry out this bolt and put in the longer one so that I can put this all back together anyway it's raining so I gotta put things away I guess that's it for today but uh, tomorrow I should have the new solar panels up here uh, the new rack installed and everything working. 